In this video, we're going to look at one of my favorite tools, and that's the font play feature. And the reason I like it so much is because sometimes it's hard to find the font that you really want. And you really want to see an entire word or multiple words in the font before you actually select it. And the best way to do that is using font play. And you can see it's located right up here. And all I need to do is click on it, and it's going to bring up this dialog box. And there's a number of things that um, you can do from inside of here. First thing is, what type of font? Do you want it to be an embroidery font or a true type font? And this will depend on what it, it gives you available here. Right now, these are all the fonts that come with the software for embroidery. But if I want true type fonts, I can click on that. And now it's going to show me any true type font that I actually have loaded on my computer. This is not a part of the software. These are ones that are loaded in your computer that would show up in things like Microsoft Word if you use that program. Those are the types of fonts that you get here. They're um, vector art fonts. And so let's go back to this embroidery right here. Um, when you're using uh, the embroidery fonts, you can select if you want it to be an outline font, small font, block font, script, run, handwritten, um, or applique, or all fonts. And that's the same thing if you're using the, the text tool. You have the option to filter by that. And the other thing that we have here is your settings here. And this is where um, the text will use default or letters, and this is the way that it views things here. So we need to get something um, in here first um, to kind of show you. So um, we have, if I click on one, it's going to show you all the letters because I have letters chosen here. Um, default is basically this sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And that's just a good little thing if you want to just kind of scroll through. It has each letter in the alphabet. So you get to see each letter, but you're only seeing them, um, only one of them is a capitalized letter. And so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but it does allow you to see it. You can s click this one, letters, and it will show you all the letters that are available for that font. As you can see here, um, this font right here, was they all look the same regardless if it's uppercase or lowercase. But this one definitely has different upper and lowercase fonts. So you can see every letter this way. The way that I like to use it is I know what word I'm going to put in. So I choose this custom and I just type in the word like Floriani FTCU software. And then I hit OK. And now it's going to display that word. Whenever I click on a font, it's going to show me what it will look like in that font, those words, as you can see here. So I can just go down and select any one I want. Now, I can change the color. If I also know that I want it to be a different color, I can select that. Um, I can choose the thread chart. And then I can choose the very specific color that I want and import that. And now it's displaying it in that color. I can also choose 3D view so I can see the stitches, what they would maybe look like. And I'll click off of that. So let's go ahead and um, explore like some of the true type text as well. One thing I will point out if you're using an embroidery font is it does give you the minimum and maximum limits for that font like as small as it can go and as large as it can go it's replicated or it lets you know right here um, now let's though look at these filters for these embroidery fonts let's go to small now it's only going to show me fonts that are really small these are like ones that are meant to be used at like four millimeters or six millimeters it tells you what size that it generates it at so these are all the very small, minute lettering um, options that you have in the software. If I come over here and I choose script, it's only going to bring up the script embroidery fonts that are available, that it's marked as that. There might be more um, than what you see on this list. Just keep that in mind. Um, run stitch fonts. So it's just a really easy way to kind of see it all and to see what 
the word would look like that you're wanting to use. Let's go back to all, and these are all the embroidery fonts. Now let's change it though to true type fonts, and these are ones that are on your computer. So these would be more vectorized um, or vector style fonts. And you'll see that there's a lot of different ones. Um, you won't have the same ones that I have. No two people have all the same fonts usually. And it, I've loaded a number of um, fonts, true type fonts into my system. And um, there are a lot of places you can go to download fonts. Um, the one that I use mostly is called Defont, and that is D-A-F-O-N-T, um, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And there's a lot of free ones that that's really what they specialize in is free true type fonts. And so this allows you to preview it, find the font that you want, and then you can import it. I'm going to go back up here to an embroidery font really quick and just choose one of them. I'm not too worried about what it is. I do want to be able to read it pretty good. Let's go to this amber. So the other things that you have available is you can preview it. Um, I can go to settings and that's a print settings. So I can choose my printer. I can preview it. This is what it will print out. It's going to do a printout of the word that I have chosen. If I if I used the default or letters, they would all show up here. So if you want to create your own font book, it's kind of why I'm showing this, is that um, you can do this. You can um, do a sheet like this for the fonts that you like, especially if they're your favorite. It tells you the available characters, recommended heights, all of that, and you can just print it out if you would like. So I wanted to make sure I showed you those settings as well. But this is what I want, is this Word Floriani FTCU software. I've gone through all of the different features and how you can select fonts and what each of them does. So now the next thing to do is just to bring it in. So all I need to do is hit import, and it's going to bring that right into the software. And if I click on this tab in my sequence view, You'll see that because I'm working with the embroidery, that it's brought it in as embroidery, like as a lettering that I can adjust from inside of here. So it's just like I started right in the text tool. So now I can edit it just any of, any of the ways that you can a regular font because that's all that this is, is a regular font. So let's go right back into it really quick and let's choose... Um, Let's type that in again. It doesn't remember the last thing that you typed in, um, which is okay. And I'm just going to do FTCU software this time. And I'm going to um, hit OK and go to True Type Text. And I'm going to select one of them. Let's do this one right here. And I'm going to hit Import. So I want you to see that when you import the um, true type font. You can see I'm in 3D view. It does not convert this to um, embroidery, which I like. Um, I like the fact that it doesn't convert it to embroidery because I like to do that myself, but I can break it up and take it out of text mode if I wanted to. But I just want to show you the difference between loading a true type text or an embroidery font that comes with the system. So that's how you work with font play. It's really fun. It really helps you to kind of uh, visualize what the words will look like uh, with the specific words you have. That's something you can't do with just the regular text tool in the properties box. So I hope that you will utilize it. It's a really great um, feature of the software. And we'll see you in the next video.